Hello guys, Fuzz here, and a big welcome back to our Final Fantasy IX complete gameplay walkthrough. So this is episode 2, and we just saved our game for the first time at the end of the last episode, so we're going to continue exactly from that same point. If you remember that little rat kid we were chasing uh, ran up this tower here, so we're going to go up to speak to him in a moment. Uh, we don't need to save our game again, so we are just going to go straight on and advance the story and see what this guy wants us to do alright the play is going to start if we don't hurry so if you remember he we are uh, hoping to see a play we did have a ticket but it turned out to be a forgery and this little character here was quite upset about that but this rat kid has given him some hope in that he is going to show us a secret way in so that we can watch the show for free so that's going to involve jumping across the rooftops here and get through this dialogue with at a height okay just pretend we're on the ground good advice it's pretty scary with that isn't it and if we jump across the second plank here when we can well that's comforting to know And now we do need to continue following this kid, but before we do, there's a little item here we can pinch. Well, 29 gil. And we're going to head to the third plank, where we're going to learn our name. Once again, we're going to stick with the default, which in this case is Vivi. Vivi is a black mage, and appears to be around the age of nine, although there's definitely some mysteriousness to his personality but we're going to go ahead and select the default and this is Puck uh, right then so we're just going to continue northward make sure we're not going to miss any items uh, no we're not and from the ruined house we're just going to run a little bit further north and there's a few planks here we're just going to go west. Make sure there's nothing on this chimney. Uh, there should be another bird's nest around somewhere. Ah, there we go. Another 92 gear. How much gear do we have now? Let's just check. 788. So it all adds up as you keep collecting, I suppose, doesn't it? And we finally made it. Right, we're getting another bit of a cinematic here, so I'll try and be quiet. Okay, just trying to get my mic back on. Uh, right then, so 
this is the play that our thieving band are performing. And we are actually going to get involved in this play, as you'll see in just a moment. Tantalus, that's the name of our little band of thieves, proudly presents I Want to Be Your Canary. Hopefully Zidane here will remember his cue. Since we're watching the play, I'll just drink some coffee. And we have another battle. Once again, not a serious battle, but surprisingly you can actually get a game over screen if you get defeated. So we don't want to see that. What we do perhaps want to see is that the steel command has been replaced by this special effects command. And it doesn't actually do any damage, it's mainly for the audience. But it will allow us to see some abilities from the older Final Fantasy games being used. So we'll show a couple of these and then we'll get into the heat of the battle with serious attacks. Again, some of the characters might die. I'm not too concerned about that as long as it isn't Zidane. We'll go ahead and defeat these minions first and foremost. They only have 32 hit points each. And then the boss, once again, has 180. 186. It's really looking so much prettier now with these uh, updated graphics. And they actually fit in as well to the pre-rendered backgrounds. I was worried they'd seem out of place. But it's, uh, it turns out they don't. And there's nothing to steal this time, of course. So, uh, well, there's no steal command. So even if there was, we wouldn't be worrying about it anyway. Yeah, two damage killed him. And looks like we've just about brought that to an end. It's like I'm watching something from Zorro now. Even the music's reminded me a bit of it. Right, so... We actually have a bit of a... a mini-game here, a sword-fighting mini-game. And we can actually get a decent reward. But I haven't had any chance to practice it, so I'm not going to expect anything too great. Uh, to follow Blank's lead, enter the correct commands the following choices. Okie dokie, it's actually got the A and B buttons reversed for me because I changed the input earlier, so that's probably going to confuse the situation even more. But we'll see how we get on. I did press one wrong button then. So I don't think we're going to get a perfect. Well, 
Well, it's quite quick, this is. Sorry if I'm not speaking too much at the minute, I'm just trying to concentrate on not screwing this up totally. Maybe we'll get somewhat of a semi-decent score. Is that it? Looks to be the case. 94 were impressed of the 100. <laughs> Queen Brahma's not impressed. It's because we didn't get a perfect score. I did fail on one of them. I could go ahead and try again. But I'm not going to bother. We do get 600 gil. So it looks like we're actually going to be preparing now to go ahead with the mission. Which is kidnapping the princess. So we are again going to be controlling Zidane. And got to set got myself in a complete tangle here. I've got microphones and headsets and game pads all over the place and I've got the cables all attached to my feet now. Right, that's it. Should just about be sorted. I don't know what that sounded like, but uh should be good to go. So is that one of the things that we're supposed to be using to distract the guards? And we've now entered Alexandria Castle. got a wonderful score to this game but then all the Final Fantasy games have really haven't they first things we're going to do is equip the item that we stole earlier on so we're going to get rid of the dagger here and equip the mage masher which basically just gives us a little bit more attack but it also gives us an extra ability that we can learn in the way of detect so we're just going to go over to our abilities here and See what it is we can do. That's interesting. We've got a few abilities we can learn or equip. Uh, flea gear, I guess that gives us. Ah, oh, right, okay, so we'll throw that on. And that on. We haven't actually got much other choice at the moment, so we may as well. And we should be good to go now with our, with our new weapon. Uh, by the way, if you do win that sword fight that I didn't bother replaying, which I probably should have done, uh, then you'll win a moonstone. And later on you'll be able to collect 10,000 gil as well. Those moonstones also are quite rare, so... Probably should have done that, but not to worry. At least you know how to do it. For now, we're just going to continue running... Oh, should have speak to... Blank here, see if he's got anything interesting to tell us. Oh, we're going to run up the stairs. And who could this be? We can either let her pass or examine her face.
Yeah, that's pretty harsh. So, that was in fact Princess Garnet. Zorn and Thorn, interesting characters. Thorn in particular seems to be speaking like Yoda. They appear to be the synchronised jesters. Okay, what a peculiar scene there. And here we have Gre uh, Queen Bran, whom uh, Baku wasn't particularly impressed with earlier, at the, well, at the, in the last episode, if you remember that. <laughs> so now we have to name this guy. And the default is Steiner, which we shall be sticking with it. So, since we're naming him, it would be no surprise that he will inevitably, inevitably be joining our party. Lazy guards. Hmm, that just looks wrong. <laughs> right, so first thing we're going to actually do, now that we have control of Steiner here, He's just head back and speak to the Queen. And Queen Bran's going to give us an item, depending on how well we did in the sword fighting minigame to Dan a few moments ago. Again, if we got all 100 uh, people impressed, then we will get the Moonstone. We only got 94, so we get the Silk Shirt instead. I don't think that's something that's going to impress Steiner too much to wear. Oh, go down to the bronze armour. Nope. We will just check if there's any abilities that we can equip for him. There's bird killer. Bug killer and beast killer. So we'll get him learning those. He can build up the AP that we need for them to master them. And that's pretty much all we can do with Queen Bran there. And we're going to go back down here to where Zidane ran out of a few moments ago. And there's a Moogle here. So we're going to go and speak to the, uh, speak to Mosh here and go to Magnet. But nothing really to, uh, to, to do. But if you did the skipping rope challenge earlier and succeeded, 
then there will be a letter for you there. But since then we didn't, well, I think we got to 24, didn't we? There's nothing too exciting for us. Now, somewhere around here should be an item for us. Okay, that's us at the top, Captain Steiner. There we go. Phoenix down. And we'll go ahead and save our game. And we're going to call it quits there, I think, today. So we're going to pick up next time because we need to find all the Knights of Pluto. And Steiner will be doing that for us. So don't forget if you've enjoyed this episode to hit the like button and share it with your friends if you would. That would really support me. And remember, the more people that watch these, the more motivated I will be to continue filming them. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. So thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy IX. Bye for now.